time is really gonna be a factor. It's a race against time today, so. Do you want fish and chips? It's actually really lovely light. But it's just how much time we got left to do the painting. It's a race against time today, so we should probably get sketching something in. We're at Park Gate, by the way. <laughs> So this episode was going to be about looking for interesting cloud uh, formations and painting them. Um, but today the clouds are quite flat and they're not very atmospheric. So instead, uh, being in Parkgate is such a lovely place. I thought we'd focus on this lovely turn in the road over there. We've got the distance, all the cars in there. We're just going to get some uh, a nice composition in. Okay, I've got my sketch done. Composition's there, we're in a rush. So let's get on with it. And let's... Begin. I'm moving the pond in the marsh because I love it. Uh, I'm moving it this way. So in reality, it's a bit further away, but I want it in the picture and I can do whatever I want in my own picture. I'm trying a bit of a different tactic today with just trying to get the, the values all in. I'm gonna get the values in first. I'm not gonna put much color in until I've got all that down and then I'm gonna overlay it with color. So we'll see how that goes. They've got fish and chips, and I want some. Do you want fish and chips?
Okay, the sun has legitimately set now. It's gone, so we lost the race against time. Uh, but I still think we're working with something really good. What I'm actually thinking, I mean, putting over here, the, uh, the street lamps are on now, so I'm gonna try and get all those nice little details in, but this is a challenge. The sun was over there, and now it's just a sunset that we can see over the hill, literally just a bit of red. So it's lovely, but it's not there for me to paint. <laughs> Do you know what? I think we're gonna have to sort of throw in the towel with this one. It is, it is too dark, but it might be one that we have to come back and finish on a later date. So that just goes to show that sometimes you can't beat the sunset. We should get that on a t-shirt. Okay, so this is what we've ended up with. Um, if you can even see it, uh, hold on. There we are. She looks quite nice in the light. <laughs> it, it's such a shame because it was, it had the potential to be an amazing uh, painting with such a lovely kind of uh, scene there, but it's just too dark. So we'll put this one down as a failed attempt. Uh, maybe we'll come back and try to do it at a more convenient time. But I've really enjoyed myself. I got out and I painted, and that's what it's all about. So I'll see you next time. Hi everyone. Uh, I know that we didn't get a chance to finish the painting because uh, we were beaten by the fact that it got dark earlier than I anticipated. Uh, but I have finished it at home. So here it is. Um, yeah, I feel like it's turned out really well. Um, it's, a, it's a completely different thing painting from a photograph than it is uh, doing plein air painting. But I just love the kind of loose brushwork that we've got. Uh, the colours and the values have matched um, pretty well. I'm quite happy. And uh, yeah, it's been a good one.